you have to try this notion trick now. No, 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 like not like yesterday, not today, not like the week before, right now. Because I have really enjoyed helping you guys build the Notion app system. But what you probably haven't thought of is making a system that has bookmarks in it. So the Notion app system as it stands is something that has integrated bookmarks. And you can see really quickly with this setup how it can absolutely change your workflow. Because if you connect it to things like projects and contacts, all those sort of things, you're gonna be like, what? What? This is dope. So first of all, we do have a bookmarks database right in the back here. So we're just gonna copy this link and then remember make a new view. It's always easy to just copy the custom desktop one, duplicate it. I'm gonna call this bookmarks desktop. Okay, so let's just nestle this right below the context one. Go within here. Um, we're gonna paste the uh, linked database of the bookmark database right here and then hide it right here. Only really need one section for this. Uh, a key thing about this is that it's gonna be great within other databases. So all we really need to do is make a couple properties here. Like I do enjoy a good sorting number as a property. So sorting number, uh, and then we're gonna do obviously name, have URL obviously, then created by, it's good just for reference later. And then what's nice here is we can actually do a relation to the, uh, the views database. Now I'm gonna make sure this is the right one. So I have a million versions of this. So I made the template. Make sure the views are nicknamed with a naming convention that makes sense. And I would recommend you do this too. You do like DB and then whatever your name is or something. And the same goes for the databases. And you can just copy the name when you want to relate it. Since this is the name of the database, we relate this just like that. And then we're going to call this bookmarks. Just get rid of the appendages. Just call it view. All right, cool. It should showcase. I don't know why it didn't. There we go. And then do the exact same thing for a couple other ones. And you're going to be like, at the end of this, what? That was a smart idea. So do it for databases. Make sure it shows on. Then bookmarks. Okay. And show this in the properties as well. Okay. And then a couple other ideas are going to be, the so relation would be to the projects database. So projects, bookmarks. Okay. Then let's uh, also do that for a relation to the contacts database. So we got bookmarks and contacts. Cool. And then if you want to, from like this view's perspective, you can just do all bookmarks and then you could duplicate it to, uh, or have it sort by sorting number. So like whatever's the highest number, for example, bookmark one, bookmark two, but like, you know, this would be first based on the order. You know, I'm just being funny here, but um, YouTube channel, client URL, okay. And then after you sort of get that part sorted, what you can do is uh, you can make it by uh, another view. Like you can do um, something else that's kind of nice. So you can either make a property that's like a file property and then you can do cover image, right? Which is kind of cute. Then duplicate this and do gallery, all bookmarks gallery. And then uh, make it gallery, maybe small sized and then do it by cover image just attach so for example could attach my graphics here banner uh, banner here should show cool let's just pick some other random image as an example kind of cool do that. okay then you could have the url showing since uh this hyperlink situation is really nice in notion so let's just do riseproductive.com as an example and my youtube channel as an example so i can click on this and boom riseproductive.com or go to my youtube channel add this right here all right cool so now what we have here is also the option to, in this view, just uh, you just do by view, say I was connected to a certain view, right? By project, just keep like changing the, the way that it would be grouped, which is kind of nice, um, by contact, yeah. These are just different options that you could have. Say this was, exa for example, assigned to Dimitri as a contact, and then say that this, for example, was assigned to uh, John Doe's contact, be separated like that, which could be a nice overall bookmark situation, which I do think is nice, but what you can instead do, and I think is like the prettiest option, is I'm gonna copy this link for the bookmark gallery option, make a new bookmark page. Let me just make sure I pick the bookmark icon. Use this template, hide this as minimal, or Actually, no, not hide this as minimal. I want to show this as property, but then just hide the property. So hide property always. Now let's sort this to be number seven, I think. Yep, okay. Get rid of the desktop appendage. All right, now once again, copy this link to view. Then we can have some fun with this. Let's go into the projects. And then for example, we go into this. Remember this whole thing? All right, that's cool. Um, but what if we did a 
this. We have the contacts nestle in here, right? And maybe we uh, use this gallery view instead for active contacts or not, it's up to you. And duplicate this and do uh, another nice view. Let's ungroup this so it like looks a little bit better. Okay, so contacts, let's do a little divider here so it lines up no matter what. It's actually better here to do it like this. So essentially what you do is you make a divider so that it forces it to like not have weird uh, spacing issues like this. And then you align the next like two. So it's like this. Now we'd paste this, right? And then we'd filter it to project is this project, which is really, really cool. Uh, bookmarks so that you'd have really nice bookmarks to the specific project you're working on. All right. So we also can obviously do this for, so let's be, first of all, show you an example of this. So this NAS from scratch, let's redo this new project. So now we'd have this section for context and bookmarks. Okay. Let's say for example, um, in the contacts and bookmarks pages we see that like john doe was assigned to me let's go john doe sorry so from here at the top we can just go add contacts john doe and it would populate here and then we're going to move this to show as minimal and bookmarks client url populate right here so you'd have like a much cooler view of everything and then the contact section you do the exact same thing so let's go here make a little divider so that the spacing gets all good Provider, and then go back to the example, copy this section here, paste this guy out, refilter it to, it is the contact contains the untitled contact, and then show this as minimal again, go into the contacts page so right here, then let's make a new contact example guy, it's a client or a relationship, go into the example guy and you'll see if we add YouTube channel, bookmark wise, it'll populate right here. So it's just a fun way for all these core databases that we made at the beginning, to aggregate together with really quick relationing. Uh, just so that when you go into it and you're working within a contact, you have all the context regarding tasks, notes, and then for projects, same thing. Uh, tasks, projects, notes, contacts, just all very easy to see because it's so hard when you like contextualize it, like, all right, let's go into the contacts. Let's go to the... If you're working within something, it makes sense for that thing to be what you're in. And then you reference the outside stuff that is notes, that is contacts, that is bookmarks so that you can easily access everything. Just like you should definitely easily access the Notion app system by getting it or this video on how to improve your productivity even more.